Welcome to part 5 of our DIY Bucilla stocking tutorial. In this video we will be uh, finishing the airplane and it looks really really cool. And we'll also be finishing Santa's arm. So the top of the stocking will be complete and I will show you what that looks like when I'm done. If you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe down below and click the little bell to get notifications for new videos. I appreciate all of my subscribers and I'm so excited to um, answer any questions and I love seeing all your comments down below. So keep watching. So this is the front wing number 41 and I went ahead and beaded and sequined and uh, embroidered and we're going to attach the green trim and then we're going to do number 43. So I stumbled onto a problem with this stocking. Um, I ended up running out of the light green thread and, and it happens occasionally. So when it does happen, you need to actually go to the store and pick out some more color. And that's why they give you a chart. Um, if you look on the top where it says light green, it gives you a color number to go by. So you can literally go, I went to Walmart and picked out the green color with the right number and it's easy as that. So here is the front wing embroidered with the trim. And that's the back of it. And now we're going to do um, number 43. And I went ahead and beaded it and sequined it. Um, I did embroider it ahead of time. You don't have to embroider it ahead of time, but uh, it really depends on what your style is. So here is the red strip, completely appliqued, and um, here's the part where it gets interesting. Um, in the instructions it says to add embroidery to the wing along the edge where the wing meets the wing trim. And if you look on the chart, it, it shows you the actual trim between the light green and the dark green and there's embroidery there. If we flip back to the other chart, it tells you what kind of stitch you're doing and what color. So we're gonna be doing two black and the outline stitch. And um, it's right along here. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. Okay, so I did the embroidery and here's kind of a close up. It's kind of hard to see, sorry about the lighting. But that's where your embroider needs to be. And that's why um, it's optional to do the red strip before or after. Because either way it's going to be embroidered along the same line. Now that we have the top of the front wing done, we get to attach it to the back. And the back looks like that. And we're going to use the back as a template for the poster board. And I already cut it out, but I might just trim it a little bit more because parts of it aren't quite where I want them to be, so I'm going to do that off camera. But basically we're going to sandwich it in between these two pieces and embroider those two closed with the poster board in the middle. And um, that's going to look really cool alongside the plane. It'll give it some lift. And we're going to just embroider the part of the wing that attaches to the plane. So here are the two put together. And I just wanted to show you my method for keeping the cardboard in place. Same idea. Just take a couple of pins and you're good. Remember to remove the pins before you add the plain wing to the actual plane. That would be a good idea. Um, so we're just I'm just going to use a couple of pins and attach the wing onto there just to hold it in place because I can't. It's just a little harder to maneuver without those pins. So here are my two pins to hold my wing in place while I embroider. Now I'm going to start down here and work my way around to about here. And that way it'll leave the rest of the wing open. 
So here's my attached wing and I started a little further down to give myself a little more surface area to attach the wing. And make sure you don't go through to the back of the actual plane because it will be way too hard to do it that way. So make sure you are just using the felt underneath to attach the wing. And next we're going to do Santa's arm. So this is Santa's arm beaded and sequined and embroidered and here's the uh, cuff to the arm and we're going to attach those together and we're going to attach the backing to it also. Uh, the way they cut out the back was kind of interesting, but when you cut it out and rearrange it, you'll understand it a little bit better. It goes like that. So, um, so we're just going to put those two together and then we're going to do the glove. I wanted to take a second and show you what the arm front looks like before you attach the backing to it. And this piece we are going to stop. So that's what those two look like when they're together and they line up pretty well and then you're going to um, applique them and stuff them. So here is the completed arm. I went ahead and did the glove just because it's the same concept. Front, back, stuffed together. So um, Once the arm is stuffed then you stuff the glove separately and then you attach those together. And then this is number 47 and that's where the arm goes and um, use a couple of pins to secure it down while you attach the arm. So here is the arm completely attached and you can maneuver the arm a little bit. Um, start on the right side of the shoulder and curve around to secure it. Pretty simple, a little bit hard to maneuver. So. So I went ahead and did the candy cane off camera because candy canes are my least favorite thing to do. Um, you have to fill in each little red spot, red part with a satin stitch. It's kind of like coloring in, you know, a section with thread and it's just a pain in the butt. And when you're doing this satin stitch, make sure that you don't touch the edges of the candy cane so that when you cut out the candy cane, you don't accidentally snip a thread. I've done it. It's a pain. Um, and you have to sew it closed and then stuff it, so or stuff it as you go. Anyway, so rant over. <laughs> um, put the candy cane where you want it and then we're going to attach it. So I put my candy cane pretty close to what the picture is on the front and it's a little bit difficult to put on. Um, it, don't, it only calls for a few stitches and you need to make sure you go through the glove. See, my stitches do glue through the glove, so the glove doesn't move around. And make sure you do not go through the back of the airplane. So here is the airplane and Santa all finished. I love the way the plane looks with the cardboard. It gives it an awesome dimension, and it makes it look like it's popping out. I really like that. Um, tacking on this was a little bit <laughs> challenging because you can't really go through the poster board, so I kind of went through the side. But it turned out really, really good. So that's the top portion. We'll be putting on these near the end of the stocking, but the next um, in, in my next tutorial, we'll be working on the parachutes down here. So the parachutes and the presents and eventually the homes. So my stocking is starting to look really, really good. I'm super excited about it. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying all these tutorials. I know I'm having so much fun putting all these tutorials together for you. So um, please leave comments down below. Ask any questions that you have. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and share them and enjoy every minute because I know I am. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.